All right, Salim Razai here, and I want to talk about point of care ultrasound in cardiac arrest. Now, it's important that we look for reversible causes during cardiac arrest, but we don't let the technology make our pauses last more than 10 seconds. And so a couple of things I want to go through. So the first thing is, is we got to have a systematic way to look for one thing for each pulse check. And that's why I like to use something called the CASA exam, Cardiac Arrest Sonographic Assessment. Now you place your probe in the sub view, and during your first pulse check, the first thing you look for is tamponade. This is something that's completely reversible. We can put needles and catheters in there. We can drain this. It's something that's really easy to look for. You resume your CPR, and when you get to your next pulse check, the next thing you look for is RV strain. Now, RV strain is not always going to be pulmonary embolism. You have to be in the right clinical context to make sure that it's a PE because the cardiac arrest itself can cause RV strain. So having some historical elements are going to be important in determining this. You go back into your CPR and the third thing you look for is cardiac activity. Now, this gives you prognostic information, but by itself should not determine you calling a code. There should be other things like what was the downtime? Did the patient get CPR by bystanders? Uh, what was the initial rhythm? There's lots of things that go into this, but this is just another piece that helps with that. And then after that, then you can do the rest of your EFAST because it doesn't interrupt CPR. You can look for tension pneumothorax. You can look for aortic dissection. You can look for blood in the abdomen or free fluid in the abdomen. I really like this because with each pulse check, you check for one thing at a time. Now, even with that, pauses can be prolonged. And so I've added a few other things to my practice that I think will be really helpful in reducing these pauses. So the first thing is, is take your cardiac probe, put it in the sub xiphoid view while CPR is ongoing. Because I find that oftentimes finding the right view is what takes most of the time. So if I can get my probe in a place where I think I'm pretty close to what I need to look for, as soon as I go into my pulse check, I'm already into viewing for the one thing that I'm looking for during the pulse check. The second thing is have a timer. Either a person that counts out loud or an actual timer that counts out loud. And if you've gotten the views you've needed or you don't got the views you needed, once you hit 10, you're right back into CPR. And then the final thing is, is that most of these ultrasounds will allow you to record whatever images you're getting. So record during the pause, interpret once you go back into CPR. So these are just three more things to help you minimize pauses with point of care ultrasound in cardiac arrest. I hope you find this video useful. If you find this helpful, please share, please like. Thanks for tuning in and until next time.